Previously on Africa's Next Top Model, a shocking double elimination. You're still in the running towards becoming Africa's next top model. Shiangri and Rustman. <laughs> so now yes. just three remain, and it's a race to the finish. On tonight's show, Man. what the f is so cold, and we need to do this in water. Oh. I'm really terrified. I'm sorry, Michaela. really good to win a reward challenge and be on my way out to getting pampered. It is a little bit lonely and there's no friends here to you know laugh with blah 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 but I think it's also a good thing that I have me time because in the house you don't get me time. This is fantastic. I just love being pampered. Oh, that was so amazing. My massage was great, but it's not over yet. Going for money, Shelly. It's nerve wracking to be in the top three because then you know you're close. You're very close to, to getting it, but you can't get it yet. I knew that I had to pull myself together because at the end of the day, it was a competition and I had to work in order to be somewhere in the competition. So now I'm going back home and I'm gonna tell Michaela and Opiemi about my beautiful um, treat. And yeah, I'll rub it in their faces a little bit so they can, you know. Just outside of Cape Town, there's a small community project outreach for Proctor and Gamble. So today, I'm taking the top three girls with me to give something back to the community. She's so oh, like a superstar or something. <laughs> but it's fun, it was great. So do you know in, in almost in Africa, in all of Africa, there's about 600 million girls, you know, young girls living in Africa. And when they go through their period, some of them don't come up to school for like five days. Some girls will not come to school because they don't have money. 
or they will ask their mama, mama, can I have money for pads? Mama will say, you don't have money. So a lot of girls miss out on school, five days a month. So for 60 days in a year, some girls will not go to school. So this company called PNG, you're all gonna say thank you to PNG for me, for always keeping girls in school. To the top two of Africa's next top model, you need poise, grace, sophistication, and style. Are you the most confident of them all? Take a dive and show us your snap water. appeal. Is it water? Water. What the f? Oh, Luchi, we are supposed to dive. I have a huge phobia for water. Like huge water bodies. I can't. I can't dive. Good luck. This will be our toughest challenge yet. For them to say this will be our toughest challenge. Oh my god. So we get the Oluchi mail for the next challenge. And it talks about taking a dive. Has to do with snap, showing how elegant you are, your poise, your charisma, your confidence, everything. In water. Snap wants the girls to embody their brand values of being confident, free-spirited, feminine, elegant, playful, sexy, passionate, and bold. Trying to get that right while underwater is really going to be tough. They said to make it to the top two of Africa's next top model. How do you know? It's a water. They say take a dive. What does take a dive mean? It's a water challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Oh my God, that is cold. Oh my God. It's so cold. And we need to do this in water. I just hope that it's a swimming pool and it's not an ocean. Diving means it's an ocean or a sea or something worse. I'm really terrified of huge water bodies. That's one of my greatest phobias. I don't know how I'll overcome, how I'll overcome it. I meet her the drama queen, and then she starts crying. Oh my God, I don't like ocean, blah, blah, blah. She will cry and cry before it shoots, and then she goes on that shoot and does another thing. Maybe that's her strategy, I don't know. Why are you laughing? <laughs> This is what Amito does. I think this is her strategy. She makes everyone feel, oh, I don't think I can do this. Oh, I'm going home. And then she'll just get to the water. Snap! Please, <laughs> stop pretending. I know she's at her game again. I think Amito is the drama queen. She cried before. She cried after. She cried in the middle. She cried all the time. The winner of the challenge will get what every girl dreams of. A $1,000 shopping. shopping spree with InterSwitch card! <laughs> yeah! Yippee! Shopping spree. I'll use the children's pool. <laughs> Oh. Our water task in this the water like freezing cold. Oh my We're surrounded by water. Oh my god. The whole place is no. filled with we are pausing inside. So I walk onto the location and I see this beautiful house with a beautiful pool and I'm like, yes, thank you. 
It's not an ocean, it's not a sea. And then we go down the stairs and see how deep the pool is. I can't, okay, I can't swim, but I can't swim, swim. I can't swim. It's deep. The hell? I just think, please, I don't want to die here. <laughs> just send me home. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> this will be their toughest challenge yet. Anyone who has ever tried staying still on the water will know exactly how tough it is. Now try that with a big dress on, no bubbles on your face, and still look beautiful. The girls will need to stay cool under pressure. If not, they could go home one week away from the final. Welcome to Africa's Next Top Model. It's now sink or swim. Good morning, ladies. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Today, we're doing an advertorial for Snap, or should I say Splash? <laughs> we have to be sexy, we have to show our poise, confidence, elegance, all in the water. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm like, it's a wrap. Now it's a wrap. Water is not my best friend. Not your best friend? No. Why? I don't know. I'm scared of drowning or something. Because I have a friend who drowned, and also when an Indian friend read my poem, he said I should never go near water. Considering how deep this pool is, I'm thinking to myself, I'm probably going to drown. They need to have a lifesaver, or maybe we shall use the children's pool. Well, you're not alone when you're going near the water, so okay. we're not going to let you down, I promise yeah. you. Okay. If I have to jump in, I'll jump in and fetch you, but we've got a lot of strong men who'll pull you out should there be any problem. So you've got nothing to worry about. Okay. And then how do we hold our breath? How do you hold your breath? Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> you know, the same I... way you normally would. The photographer will talk you through it. So all of the things have got to come together in one moment. So it's just going to take you to center yourself and focus and hit it when the time comes. Lifeguards on standby, please. So we see these photographs that Carl is showing us. They are amazing. But we're thinking to ourselves, do we have to do that? Oh my word. Oh my God. Beautiful. Gorgeous, right? Yeah. And these dresses are incredible. You'll see, I've seen them there in the makeup room. When I saw those photos, I'm like, no, no human can do that. They're either mermaids or it's animated or photoshopped. It's not possible. It's not a human being. They're amazing. Now, the brand attributes for Snap are confident, sexy, poised, bold, femininity, elegant, and all of that you have to give me and daughter. Playful, sexy, poised, bold, free-spirited in the water, it's a wrap. Okay, ladies, for today, we're using, we're waterproofing your makeup. Oh, okay. So that nothing moves when you're under the water. So everything you see will be amplified because the water actually dulls the color. Oh. Okay, so we're actually bumping up whatever colors we're using. Okay, they'll so be brighter than brighter. they'll be on the actual day. The photographer for today is Ilsa Moore, who has also made the art of underwater fashion photography her own. Her unique work has put her in touch with some of the world's top models, fashion editors, and designers. So if they get this right, the girls will have an unforgettable and unique picture for their portfolio. Hi girls. Hi. Um, I'm Ilza Moore. It's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are excited. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I shoot a lot of fashion and art underwater and we often work with people that haven't been underwater before. That's, okay. So I train them as I go and it's actually very simple if you relax and you kind of enjoy it. One thing I can say is underwater shooting gets very addictive. So the girls, enjoy, the girls enjoy it so much they keep wanting to do it. Are you sure? So <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> so what you can actually do is just have fun with it as well. Go with it. Don't, don't worry too much about the fact that you're in water. Okay. One thing that you can do is as you go into the water, and I'll run you through the steps now, um, is to actually 
embrace it a little bit. Get lost in another world. It's really a different world down there. Okay. And that's what makes it so beautiful. And it's okay for you to kind of play pretend. The best part <laughs> I liked was where she said, she, like, she shoots people that, have n that don't even know how to swim, that have never been in water before, and they come out with great pictures. So that kept me calm. So the first thing you guys have to remember is your facial expressions. Now, there's a few tricks. Do not try to give me an expression. The best expression underwater is actually no expression at all. Relax your face completely. Trust that it looks okay, even though it doesn't feel okay. So you don't want to overcompensate by widening your eyes too much or squinting or okay. putting air in your mouth. It's very relaxed. So what you can basically do, you can all try quickly. Um, put your tongue against your, against your palate and just close your mouth completely, teeth on top of each other. There's no air in your mouth right now, right? That's how you're going to go down. So don't blow air back into your mouth because that's going to happen and that's going to happen and that's not going to work for the shoot. She gave, like, she gave us three different papers. She drew, like, different poses we can do in the water. That also helped. So I kept practicing and practicing and practicing. But I'm wondering, I'm practicing on land. How am I going to do that in the water? Coming up on Africa's Next Top Model. Now we have to do this. And it's raining. It was freezing. The water was cold. Uh, shooting underwater is really hard, eh? It's, um, it's very challenging. You have to consider a lot of different things. It's not one thing, you know, you can't control a specific shoot, set up a specific thing that you want. The model actually has to have a trust relationship with the photographer, and the photographer has to trust the model to understand what needs to happen underwater. So from your facial expressions to handling your hair, to doing the dress, hands, feet, the model has to really understand what goes into getting a successful shot. I'm not a good swimmer. I don't even go to the shell, to the deep end. First of all, it was freezing. That day was so, so cold. It was raining. And then I walked to the chute and she took me to a little, like a testing area of the water just to test the temperature and to test how to like, <laughs> oh my god! Oh. 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 Now when she said I should put my head into the water, oh my god. It's not like I can't do that, but it was freezing. The water was cold. <laughs> what a drop of your face. Listen, 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 listen. Look, the I lights are warm. I got you. I'm like, for a moment, I wanted to give up. Like, you know what? Just forget it. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> you know. Why? Oh Don't worry. So you've got this the whole time. So when you come up, you just reach out and you grab the rope. Okay. Okay. So take it time. Well, I'm not going to leave the rope, right? Yeah, you're going to have to release the rope and go down. Oh, I'm scared to leave the rope. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. There you go, there you go. So there was a point where I just started going down, 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 down. And the photographer just helped me from under. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs>
all done. One more and then we're done, eh? There you go, all done. <laughs> Behind you. Locating the rope and holding my breath was just the challenge in that shoot. But I think I did an amazing job. I gave myself a round of applause. Your body's come yeah, up. My body was coming up the whole time. They had to put something on my waist to hold me in the water. Yemi did amazing. Uh, she's very, she's nervous of water. She, she embraced it. She still went in. She was very brave. Um, despite the fact that she had to handle a dress that is quite difficult to handle, it's a beautiful dress underwater, but there's a lot of things happening. She managed to pull it together. Uh, a lot of stuff happened still, the cloth went a little over the place, but every now and then she pulled it together and she struck a pose, and I think we can really work with it. Um, no, let's do this. How do you feel? <laughs> I go to the water so cold and I feel hot. I just keep my mind open and think it's easy, it's, it's no cold, it's no nothing. Just do this. Okay, show me again, let's see. So your face, oh, keep, let me just see your mouth. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. Good. <laughs> You're right. She talked to me all the time. She talked to me in water. <laughs> She's amazing. I see you're tucking your cheeks a little bit again. Yeah. So same kind of thing, but the dress does flow up. And you'll actually just empty all the air out of your mouth, okay? Nice. Nice. Perfect. She tell me you just need to think uh, you you are dancing or something like this. Just up your hands and your legs. Something like this. Michaela did beautifully. I'm very happy with that. Her face was comfortable, she was comfortable. I think it's gonna be well. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. I feel more comfortable in water. I don't know if it is my body, but I feel hot in water. Now we have to do this, and it's raining, and the water is cold, and I'm shivering. And what next? <laughs> okay. Right, so now I just want to see what your face does. So when you go into the deep water, you're not gonna you're not gonna worry about that. Your face is gonna be ready. Perfect. That's, that's amazing. Okay. Your face is great. I don't know how my shoot is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to pull off a pose under the water. And I just decided to shake it all off and do it. I'm feeling more comfortable now that I'm in the water and there's a gazillion people. <laughs> it's fun. I love it. I fall. Ilda, the photographer, is really amazing. She's so inspiring. She tells you to do different poses and I'm into the shoot. I feel great. I feel confident. I feel like I can do this. I feel like I can flip over. I can do the back thing. Ah. Okay, let's try upside down. <laughs> I'm very happy with Amita's shoot. She was very comfortable. She showed a lot of initiative, which is very um, nice to have from someone who does a shoot for the first time, especially a shoot this difficult. 
Uh, she wasn't scared. She went for it. She she did great. It was really fun. I had a great time at the shoots. And the photographer is amazing. She makes you feel calm. She makes you feel like everything is okay. my mom and my friend Lillian and the words that they told me were very inspiring and I felt very confident that I was gonna make it. Now we had a challenge shot today and I f like after my shoots I always feel very happy like I did well but the judges always some not always like I've won a challenge before. Do you get? And it's not always it's not every time I'm in the bottom, but it's either I'm on the top or I just fall flat to the bottom. I talk to my best friend. Um I talk about them today and I say today was amazing. I love uh, the photo shoot and pool. And she asked me when I come back from home. She miss me. And just these things. So, hi. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. you will I'll face the judges. Where one of you girls will be leaving us. Good luck and good night, Luchi. <sighs> that time of the night again. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> so, good night, Oluchi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi ladies, you all know the deal. The overall winner of this competition will walk away with a modeling contract with DNA Model Management in New York, $50,000 cash prize, and a fashion editorial in Elle Magazine, South Africa. But before we start today's elimination, let's say hello to our judges. Model icon and photographer, Josie Borain. Resident judge and photographer, Remy Adetiba. And our special guest judge for today, editor-in-chief of Elle Magazine South Africa, Jackie Berger. Jackie Berger has been involved in the fashion industry for 23 years and has been the editor of Elle since 2006. She has received numerous awards for her work and initiative, including Editor of the Year in 2011. In 2012, she was given the Outstanding Contribution to Fashion at the Africa Fashion Awards. Your last challenge was an underwater shoot. I am sure that was very difficult. <laughs> We're gonna start with Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Hi. How is the shoot? Great. <laughs> OK, let's look at your best picture. Wow. What do you think, Josie? I think she did a fantastic job. You know, we've been waiting for you to, to come to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, in that photograph, you definitely have given what it takes. I think she came to the party. I think she came with bells on. You were smiling all the way through, and I love how serene your face is underwater. You're, it's like you're not cold, you're not freezing, which is hard to do. Jackie, what do you think? I'm going to comment from a magazine point of view and specifically from fashion. 
Um, what we always look at is how somebody interprets fashion. We talk about fashion intelligence. And the first thing that struck me was that you opened your arms. Um, so you understood the garment and you allowed the fluidity of the garment to become the hero. So I want to really congratulate you on that. I didn't realize that it, you, you don't swim. So this was the first time. And I mean, what's amazing is that you over came that fear and that you you did what you had to do and that's to be a professional model so well done it's really amazing mm -hmm. you can go. <laughs> thank you next is okwayemi let's look at your best picture okay you look uh, a bit distressed. Were you nervous under the water? No. No? Oh, Josie, what do you think? Um, I, I like the way the garment looks in the sense of it's, it's covering up the whole frame of the, of the photograph. Jackie, what do you think of a um, <laughs> I, I actually love the image because um, you alluded to it. There's something very serene and quiet about it. I saw that you actually allowed yourself to enjoy it. It might not be the perfect pose, yeah. but you conquered something. And I think quite often that is so beneficial in the long run. Thank you. Well, I was going to say, and in fairness to her, I think she conquered a lot in that she was the first to go. So she was in that freezing water while things were getting set up, from what I heard. Because I'd be freezing. I don't think I could do that. I could do it. Well, you're you, my dear. Oh, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> All right, okay, you can go. Thank you. And next up is Amito. How was the shoot? It was fun. I enjoyed myself and I wanted to do it again and again and again. Really? Yeah. But I was told you were crying. I know, it's so weird. But I was you were crying, crying and shaking and panicking. Why were you crying? In the morning, yes. when we received the Oluchi mail, yes. the mail said dive. So I thought, oh my God, <laughs> we're going into an ocean. And I have a huge phobia for like large water bodies. Okay. I can't help it. But like, you, do you swim there? I missed a few of my swimming lessons, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. But can you really swim? Yeah, you I can, can save my life. I can, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, let's look at your best picture. Okay. I love the garment. I love her leg. I love her arms up like that. I love it. I think it's fantastic. In general, it's a beautiful shot. You're showing me legs, so it's not all garment. Your face is just amazing and i think the key thing with amito is she knows what her money maker is she knows that face is going to get her places so she's always making eye contact you brought this so congratulations i think it's great thank you i really really love the way you use your limbs um you spoke about using your best assets and i think that's also as we become more confident, it's really to understand what our assets are and just opening up. Um, it, it's really an outstanding shot, so, so well done. Thank you. All right, thank you. Now it's time for us judges to deliberate. When you come back, we'll let you know which one of you will be leaving us. So what are we thinking? What are we thinking with Okwayemi? Um, if I just do a quick uh, look at, at sort of the interpretations here, her beauty shot is outstanding. Outstanding. Um, I think it's when she has to work with her body um, that the, the problems start coming in. What are we thinking about Michaela? I'm always worried about Michaela's her sort of look because sometimes she can look like a, uh, a beauty queen as opposed to a model. Um, you really have to like push her to get the best out of her. But who has time to be so, you know, involved in, in trying to bring out the best in you in fashion? But overall, once again, if I, you know, look at it from a, 
a portfolio of pictures of if she had to come and see us Elvis at Elle, yeah. uh, the body of work is there are flaws in it okay. um, and that's where you will then sort of look at it and say her repertoire is not strong enough how about Amito overall is she a potential top model high fashion Model. Yes, absolutely. Um, there is something incredibly powerful about her. Um, whether it's a confidence, um, whether it's just her, it's the, it's her the, stature. The, what the, is the call? Her charm or regal? She's just very she, graceful. She's, yeah, she, she has a regal presence to her, really. My, my, my worry with Amito is her nerves. This is a girl who she crumbles. She's she has a split personality. She can be very brassy and very confident, offset, and then on set she crumbles immediately and starts crying. I don't care if you're a yes. I can't. I don't care if you're a school teacher, nurse, student, whatever. You don't show up to work and cry and have your coworkers pick you up before you can do your job. No one's going to answer her in New York if she, she cries on every set. She always shows a pity party. It's she didn't cry. She didn't cry when I shot her or before I shot her. That's good. I'm glad she's beginning to learn because it gets old. <laughs> I have little patience. She does cry that. a bit, you're right, but I think, I think it's a, she's nervous. But I mean, that said, this girl is amazing. Mm. She could be our new Linda Evangelista, for all we know. So we have to choose. Yes. For today's challenge, I, 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 who I, are we I, looking I, at? For me, I love Michaela's shots. Obviously, I do like Amita's picture as well. Okpayami didn't do very well in this challenge, unfortunately. You know what? I, I still feel that each of them brought something very special Different. to it. Mm -hmm. But from a magazine point of view, where you have to edit very succinctly without a doubt. Amito? Amito. Aside from this challenge, if you look at all the three finalists left, who do you I think should go home? I would say Okwe should go home. Okwe, Emi, Remy? Okwe. It's, it's such a hard, hard decision to make because they've both shown greatness and they've both kind of flustered. I hate to say it, but I would probably need to say Michaela. I'm going to leave it to the three of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. because I'm, I'm, but I think it's, it's very important to have walked the journey with, with them. Whoa. Okay, I guess we've reached our decision. But in terms of the winner for this one, I'm very vocal about it. You're very firm. <laughs> Let's call them back in and, and see. Welcome back, ladies. We have reached our decision. I have three of you standing before me, but only have a few pictures in my hands. And these pictures represent the girls that would continue towards becoming Africa's next top model. The reward for this challenge is a Verve debit card, and you can go shopping with your friends. The first name that I'm going to call is the name of the girl voted by the judges as the best picture in this challenge. And that is Amito. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hard work pays off. Oh God. It always does. Congratulations. Thank you. You're still in the running towards becoming. Africa's next top model. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I feel so stupid. Thank you. Okwayemi and Michaela, step forward, please. How are you feeling, Okwe? I'm here again. I don't know. You're ready to give up? <laughs> She's not easy being here every time. Michaela, how are you feeling? I'm scared. You're scared. I'm 
Who's gonna go home? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just in Remy. Thank you. I'm sorry, Michaela. <laughs> Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Africa's next top model. You have one more chance to prove yourself. You can go. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Yes. Our next challenge for the next episode. Not in water. <laughs> you're gonna pack your bags. We're going to New York. Thank you. We are all going to New York. Oh. What? Nobody go home today. Seriously? <laughs> Best thing I've ever heard is, ladies, pack your bags, we're going to New York. <sighs> Dream comes true for me. Yeah! I was so excited. I threw my picture up in the air. I didn't give a So I win the challenge again. Shopping spree. Ah, oh, isn't that every girl's? I'm gonna grab a few things. Okay. Because we have to pack a suitcase as well for like evening wear, day wear. So I went shopping and I decided to take Michaela and Opiami with me. I bought them a few little pieces and I bought myself a jank of clothes that I'm gonna wear when I'm in New York. If you wear it on, like, as a, as a um, sling bag, you've got some tassels. But maybe the neutral, I would see, because look how everything works together, that you can start playing. I like, actually, I like simple shoes. Like this. It's simple. These are great. Look how beautiful this is. With a, like, matte. This is cool. Beautiful. Yes, you should keep it. I like it. Rock and roll daytime. Yes, both of them. Lovely. I don't know. It's not really long enough. Yeah. I feel like it makes me look large. Okay, amazing. Hello, Kelly. 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 Oh, this is fun. It should happen every day. New York, here we come! Yeah! Next time on Africa's Next Top Model. Thank you. Welcome to DNA Model Management, New York City. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Welcome to New York. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. The first ever winner of Africa's Next Top Model is